everybody. Clint Louie coming to us with five minutes from friendship. I want to say today, thank you for joining with me for five minutes from friendship. And then also let me apologize because I know I missed a few days last week and I'm very sorry. I'm eager and ready to be back with us again for five minutes. I'm sitting here in the newly remodeled sound booth of the Friendship Baptist Church. And last week, we come in here, and, I, and by the way, let me just say thank you and shout out to everybody who worked so hard to get this done. Thank you to everybody who pitched in on this. But we come in here last week to the sound booth, ripped out the carpet, ripped off the walls or the, the whatever was covering the walls, and just cleaned out the junk and just, just tried to put it back together in a nice, clean, organized way because we believe the church facilities... We ought to make them as uh, the best we can and as beautiful as we can. And I appreciate all the people working so hard for the audio and video ministry of Friendship Baptist Church. So that's a little bit of what's going on. But I, again, appreciate everybody being a part of it. Now, in my heart recently has been our young people, the youth. And I want to just tell you, we have some of the best young people on planet Earth right here at the Friendship Baptist Church. And I thank God for the youth. And when I say youth, I mean everybody from the babies, little toddlers, to little smaller children, bigger children, all the way up through teenagers, and even, you know, in college age, you know, youth. I want to thank God for the youth. And it's been in my heart that we need to emphasize the youth. So the last few services, we've been trying to emphasize the youth. And so I encourage you, you need to be here, and you need to bring your family here to the Friendship Baptist Church Sunday morning, 9.45, Sunday evening, 6 o'clock, Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock, as we bring messages for the youth and for the family. Please be here. With that in mind, let me share a verse and a few thoughts with you. May I? I'm in 1 Timothy 4.12, and listen to the verse. Let no man despise thy youth. What that means is, is don't let people just write you off and I just a know-nothing kid. You don't know anything. No, no, no. You may be a youth, but the Bible says, but be thou an example of the believers. In other words, let the young folks and the younger adults and the youth, let them set the example. You set the bar. You raise the standard. And then God gives six areas to set the example in. In word, that's what we say. In conversation, that's how we live. In charity, that's how we love. In spirit, in faith, in purity. Those six areas. So with that in mind, can I give you three words every young person ought to know? Three words. Number one, give attention to your attitude. That's right. Don't walk around with a know-it-all proud attitude and certainly don't walk around with a chip on your shoulder because you know what's going to happen one day you're going to run up on somebody's going to knock that chip off your shoulder and you're not going to like it when they do the fact is is that god blesses and honors humility your attitude matters don't walk around here like you're mad at the world don't walk around here like you're upset at everything and if you do get upset and do get angry then let's learn to deal with those feelings and deal with those issues in christ-like ways but watch your attitude. Have a pleasant attitude. Be eager to help, willing to do things. You know, like somebody says, will you help me with something? And you're like, okay, you know, but you're conveying with your attitude. I don't want to be here and I don't like being here, but I'll do it anyway. That's not, no, 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 no. Have the right attitude. Number two, second word you need to know is your appearance. I know we're not supposed to talk about anybody's appearance because that's being judgmental, fully on that nonsense. The fact is, is that your appearance does count. My appearance counts. Be neat, be clean, be organized. You know, first impressions run deep. And when you meet somebody the first time, like it or lump it, they're going to take note of how you carry yourself and your appearance. That's just the way the world works. I, I'm sorry if this offends you, but you're going to be a lot more apt to get a good job somewhere if you walk in crisp and clean cut as opposed to come in with your pants hanging down around your knees. The fact is your appearance matters. And if you are a child of God, remember, you're not just representing yourself. You're representing Jesus. So comb your hair, tuck in your shirt tail, fellas, carry yourself like you, like you are somebody. Ladies look like a young lady. Be feminine. Carry yourself with, with, with an attitude and an appearance of Christ likeness. The third word is confidence. No, I don't mean confidence in yourself. 
I do not mean like you're stuck on yourself. Like I got this. No, no. Have confidence in Christ and carry yourself with confidence in Christ. Let, let it be known. I'm trusting Jesus. Carry yourself with such a demeanor that says, I don't know what's going on, but Jesus does. And I believe it's going to be all right because Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. Have confidence. Have confidence in God. God won't fail you. God won't, won't leave you. And God will take care of you. So three words for our young people. This is Clint Louie. The Lord bless you and keep you this very day.